www.beautyandthestamper.blogspot.com. Hello beauties. Today I'm going to show you how to make this great card using the new Colors Crisp Cantaloupe. And then I've also got some Daffodil Delight and some Old Olive. And I'm also using the Blooming with Kindness stamp set. So let me go ahead and show you. So what I'm doing is I've got some watercolor paper here and I'm not going to use my aqua pen because I want to get some thick uh, lines. So I've got a plate here with some water and let me just tell you, I got my re-inkers. This one's the Daffodil Delight. I also have my crisp cantaloupe already on here and my old olive. And you're just going to put a couple drops in there. Okay, and very easy. I'm going to start off with my crisp cantaloupe. I'm going to dip my large uh, brush here in the water, put a little bit of water in there, and move it around. I'm going to act like this is a palette here. So since it is a thicker brush, I'm going to get that nice and wet. The watercolor paper works really good. Now this is being discontinued, so if you do want some, you better grab some now. So I'm going to go ahead and just stroke across. Isn't that so pretty? It's so soft and so nice. And just get some color on there. Uh, the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to um, just on a paper towel get rid of any of that extra color. And then add the Daffodil Delight is the next color. Doing the same thing, add a little bit of water. And don't be afraid to go over it so the colors blend really nicely. And you just get some, there also a nice big stroke. Okay, moving on and clearing out my yellow uh, Daffodil Delight again. I'm going to go with the Old Olive. Doing the same thing, I'm going to go over where the um, Daffodil Delight is onto the Old Olive and make a nice big spread. Don't worry about going over the paper as you can see I've done Again, this watercolor paper works really well. So that's all I've done. I've just made an, a little block there. And now what I do is I just let that dry. So I'm gonna set this aside because I've already got one done here that has dried. Um, again, I'm gonna take my Blooming with Kindness stamp set and I've already mounted those on my block. I'm gonna get some stays on because it works really well. I'm just going to ink that up. So I'm taking the large flower. I don't know what kind of flower it is, but it sure is pretty. Just really good. Ink that up really well. And I want to get some color in there. So I just stamps. And I'm going to hold it for a little while because I want to make sure that it really gets in there. Isn't that pretty? So now I'm going to take this, it says hope is a, is a wish with a little more clout. That's so true. So I'm going to ink that one up. I'm just going to put it right down here in the corner. It's got so many other ones. Uh, it's got some great thank you, I'm here for you, your kindness makes such a difference, and then warmest wishes on, wishes on your birthday. This would make a great birthday card. So okay, I'm going to load that up again. Just find where I want it and put right down. Hold it for a little while. And there we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so the crisp cantaloupe. I'm going to go ahead and take that. I've already scored it. I'm just going to take my bone folder and go over it so I get a nice crisp fold there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this guy over and I'm going to put some Stampin' Dimensionals. I am not going to be afraid to only put a couple. They are inexpensive enough that I can put as many as I want. And there is a little bit of a curl, so I want to make sure that curl's not there. So I'm going to just put a couple more just for fun. Alright, I'm going to take those off. They come off really easy. If you do ever have a problem, just take your nail on the side and it comes off. 
once you press into it, it'll, it'll come right off. So I'm just taking all these off. Take my crisp cantaloupe cardstock, put it right on there. And there you go. Isn't that a beautiful card? All right, beauties. Well, if you want any more, stay tuned. Thank you. Bye. For more ideas and techniques, visit beautyandthestamper.blogspot.com. Happy stamping.